Hey, this is Nick. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect Power BI to Excel files in SharePoint folders. For instance, we have three Excel files in the SharePoint folder named as country, and you can see the super long hyperlink to this specific folder. If you copy and paste it directly to Power BI, it will give you an error. Because what you need to provide is the site URL, not the URL to any specific folders. What we're going to do is step one is to click on the profile picture of the SharePoint site. It is usually located right next to the name of the SharePoint site, in this case, Power BI Data. Once you click on the profile picture, you can see the hyperlink is drastically reduced. And that's exactly what we need for the site URL on Power BI. And then on Power BI Desktop, you're going to select Get Data, More, and then SharePoint Folder and then click on connect. Put the site URL in it and click on okay. And then select transform data, which will automatically opens up the query editor. And now you can see that Power BI connects to all the files in the SharePoint site. It could be a super long list because it contains everything in it, like, you know, Excel files, PDF files, you name it. And what we're gonna do next is to shorten the list by filtering a column, which is the one on the far right. So make sure you scroll all the way to the right end and see column folder path. Click on that drop down icon, select text filters, and then contents, and put in country in it because that's the name of the folder in the SharePoint. And then click on OK. And now we're seeing three Excel files, which is exactly what we need to connect to on Power BI. And then click on that icon under content which will merge or combine all three Excel files into one data set or one table. Select one of the Excel files as the sample and then select sheet one for the preview and click OK. And on the far right, under applied steps, you can see that Power BI automatically generated a few steps. You don't have to change any of them because Power BI just combined all three Excel files into one table named as query one and click on file, close and apply, and then click on apply. And you can see that everything is ready on the Power BI desktop. And you can use your data to create your dashboard.